parental discretion is advised. What's up, guys? This week on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, we talk about the WWE Network. We talk about WWE side projects. We talk about Hall of Warrior fame and filth. Stick around. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait. Hey guys, welcome to the 402nd edition of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. This, your Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, once again, I am Sorgatron here uh, at Sorgatron, of course. And thanks, Basic Sickness, BasicSickness.com for that grand uh, entrance that we usually get. Uh, with me, uh, as usual, from the deep death recesses of Samsung is, what, the Papa Lunchbox? What's going on there? Papa Lunchbox is here, god damn it. He's here, and he's ready to do the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Are you ready to do the Wrestling Mayhem Show? No, you're not, because you don't do the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We do Wrestling Mayhem Show. You listen to it at work. You ready to listen to it at work? That's what I like to hear. Fucking go to it. And then also join us from the other side of the Pittsburghs is the Riz. Leo, I told you again, I can't, I can't do anything right now. <laughs> yeah, <what did> you? <laughs> but I can't. I know. I, know. I, I saw I saw it on Sunday, but I can't really do anything right now because I'm getting all these Riz. phone calls, people meeting people. What, Riz? Riz, we're doing a show. This is Leo. The, uh, all right, all right, whatever. Bobby F. J. Town joining us from the Johnstown, PA region. We're we're keeping it very local here today. How you doing, yeah. Bobby? Hi, I'm doing pretty good. Apparently, I got a job at Bojangles, or I <laughs> am on the Cajun edition of Dateline. Bobby got Boja. <laughs> uh, listen to Gold. And, of course, uh, WrestleFan and Mad Mike are off on assignment. They've actually been uh, – uh, they're, they're, they've been – They're on suspension after that show on Google Hangout last night. If you want to check out the WMS Triple Extra over on the YouTube page, youtube.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. And you can also subscribe to that so you can get this show in a video form. Good as, times! Well, I'm not there yet! Um, oh. You can also get this version <laughs> in the said. video form uh, as well as the wrap-ups, the Indie Mayhem Show, and everything else that we're doing here uh, at Wrestling Mayhem Show at Sorgatron Good Media. Uh, you can find the show on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube. We're on Stitcher. Spreaker. We're on Blip TV. We're on your Roku box. You can... Broadcast this anywhere you want with the Chromecast. It's Bo amazing. Jaya. I love technology <laughs> and living in the future. You can also email us as just, just as you would have probably like 15 years ago at Boja. Bo oh, <laughs> good times at wrestlingmanshow.com. <laughs> you can also wow. you were ready that time. You can <laughs> you can also. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You guys will drop this line, 412-206-WMS0. And actually, if you go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com, we have a handy-dandy new button uh, so that we can connect with you. Riz. Um, big call button so you can uh, uh, connect with us there at WrestlingMayhemShow.com and connect with the Google hotline. Uh, so go check that out. And, of course, let's uh, uh, start the show the only way we know how. Dibs. The fan mail and uh, LB is going to start us off. I'm excited. I haven't read an email this year. Year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, none of them. None of them. <laughs> I'm, All okay. Year. Hey, hey there, Mayhemers. Hey, Can't hi, get hi. to the voicemail, so I'll chuck, chuck my luck with email tonight. I have two items. This is from Matt Carlin's. Hi, uh, Matt Carlin. Spoiler. Friend in the Number one, media. I hate Big Show. As a character, he is a horrible human being. He will only do the right thing as long as it's convenient for him. But Ugh. the man cried and bared his soul. Convenient yeah. for him. Once that ends, he stabs you in the back. Examples, siding with Johnny Ace when he turned on Cena to save his job. Also knocking out Daniel Bryan to, wait for it, save his job. He's a big jerk, and I will be at full throat cheering on Brock at the Rumble. Question: Who got show job? Who is who <laughs> got show job? Question: Who, in your opinion, is most dastardly face in WWE? Let me tell you, 
John Cena will do motherfucking anything to win. Yeah, a little John bit. John Cena is a dick. He's a dastardly face. And remember when he was all tongue in Zack Ryder's woman and he was still a face somehow? Hmm. Sword? I'm, se- I'm, on seconding big, faces. I'm seconding the ba- the big show for punching a grandfather in the face last night. Mm-hmm. Is it really mm-hmm. come on with the Zeb thing? I mean, I, I, I just like, oh, he's going to tease it and just let him go because he's old and he'll kill him. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, aside from that, I, I think that was the biggest thing because I, I remember watching that and I thought of you, LB. I was like, he's a heel. Um, yeah. Yeah. He's a heel. You're not wrong. No. No. Um, other than that, I can't think of anybody off the top of my head at the moment. Uh, what about you, Riz? Uh, I agree with you guys. I definitely think Big Show's a dick. <laughs> He's one of the mm-hmm. bigger dick faces there is. <laughs> what? <laughs> dick face. Dick That's face. very poignant. Thank you for that insight there, Riz. What about you, Bobby? Bojo. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to the big show, too. <laughs> <laughs> punching an old man last late. What did he ever do to you other did, than be racist did you see towards the other picture, people? Did you see the picture of fear on Zeb okay. Coulter's face that was that was going around the internet right now? But the big no. show does cry every once in a while. Very of how? Yeah. I, a also, Sin Cara because um, just showed issues. him looking scared out of his damn mind that this face air quotes for audio listeners was about to punch his face off mm. Mm. scared scared so we didn't scared. really answer the question but <laughs> we, <laughs> we just agreed the big we just agreed kind of the, the we just agreed thing, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and Sin Cara due to lighting purposes yeah. he tries yeah. to blind people nailed it number two my four-year-old got a ton of WWE stuff for Christmas. Yay. He's got Rock and Cena brawling buddies that he beats up all day. He got a ring and a couple of action figures. He sings the Shield song while he plays with Dean Ambrose. He even has a toy replica belt that he holds up in front of me. Just to remind me who's in charge. He's quite the super fan question. What wrestling toys do you remember having when you were kids? Oh, man. All right. So my mom's favorite story um, about when I was young, uh, I had they were about this tall uh, and they were solid rubber uh, figures of one was Big John Studd and one was Hulk Hogan. And um, I I would be um, sitting in front of the fire and I would uh, make them talk to each other and I'd be like, uh, hi, Hulk Hogan. Um you want to hold hands and go to the park and Hulk Hogan be like, yeah, let's go have a picnic. And they'd hold hands and they'd walk, uh, down the park to the park together. That was my, uh, wrestling toys memory. (laughs) Sorg. 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 Did we lose Sorg? Is Sorg dead? Uh Oh, um, okay, there's Sorg. Hi, I'm back. Sorg? I'm what, back. What's Sorg? happening? No, I, thought just, I, just, I thought just Sorg, Sorg just reacted to your story. No, <laughs> That's what I thought. I just thought I'd do some visual demonstration. There you go. Oh, he's getting his own. Hey, oh, nice. Okay, that's a Jake Snake action figure. Jake Snake, Snake Roberts. What's it, was that the Jake the Snake who had the punching action instead of the DDT action? It's Macho the King. Yeah, he had a, he had I have that Macho and, Man. Yeah, he had the punch action. You go, and they still work for the most part, too. Spring loaded. Yep. Uh, yep. Why don't you snap his arm off like he did to my get, fucking gold uh, dust? I didn't even get WCW Ooh. at the time, but yeah, I got a WCW thing, you know? Um, got a Sid Vicious. Yeah. yeah. I got another Ultimate Warrior. I think I had like three Ultimate Warriors. Uh, that's how I was it. I was. Hello, Mr. Perfect. You get the idea. Here is a, uh, here is a Bushwhacker that has a band aid on his leg because his action wasn't working anymore, I believe. Oh no. Oh, no, no! It still works. I don't know why I put the bandaid on now. You get the idea. She had a boo boo. You get the idea. Well, here is. I can't really think of the top of my head if there's any real, you know, toy that I had that really was a wrestling <laughs> toy. I can't, for the love of me, know what. Riz, what's that in what? front of you? Hulk. 
what are you doing here? <laughs> but yeah, if, if, for the audio listeners, that was my Hulk Hogan wrestle buddy that has been frequently um, shown on the show many times. Featured, featured on the show. Dad ass. <laughs> Dad ass sword. Dad ass. Mm-hmm. What about you, Bobby? Also, it is ironic that uh, that Hacksaw is missing a thumb. Um, I don't know. Tough guy. I had uh, my my friend my friend Justin and I used to play with the uh, WWE figures on the bus, but um my, on our on our school bus going back and forth to school, um but my favorite like thing I used to do I I didn't have wrestling figures well I did have some wrestling figures but I had um X Men figures and I would have them like yeah tag teams with them and stuff like that it was it was pretty cool Me too. I teamed up Cyclops and and uh, Cable called them father and son. Uh, Gladiator and Warpath were the allied powers. So that was fun to do. Nice. So it didn't make them hold hands and go to the park, though. What's good is that fuck you is why. (laughs) Also Ninja (laughs) Turtles, too. I did the same thing with Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah. I never really... I um, I typically would not mix my action figures. The what? Well, well, fuck you, sir. I was, I was <laughs> with Ninja Turtles. The Jones, my Ninja Turtles. my top sick. five. Yeah. My top five most played with action figures. Huge, crazy storylines. We had um, uh, the black dude, Apone from Aliens. There was a random white dude from Jurassic Park who wasn't in the movie. Um, there was Best a character. Batman. There was a random Batman who was all black and like turquoise. There was another Batman who was actually Azrael, who was all red and gold, which even then I knew that was fucking bullshit. And that was oh, fuck. I know there was a fifth one. I know the tick was there a lot. Um maybe maybe a Wolverine? No, all the Wolverine's claws broke off. Yeah, well those were the main ones. We we had a bad guy from the mask, the bad guy from the mask, and we nice. didn't know his name, so we called him the guy with the green head and the suit. It was like this big, <laughs> long, elaborate name that I can't remember, but it was funny. <laughs> awesome, so. LB. Um, oh, it was Hulkbuster Iron Man. That was it. <laughs> that was the one. Uh, despite my long-time fandom, I never got any toys. I recall buying one edition of WWF Magazine with British Bulldog on the cover. That's it. Have a great show. Your mainstream media homeboy, Matt Carlins. I guess on the magazine side, I uh, got like WWF Magazine for like a year or something. And uh, I remember uh, always taking it with me. Like the, the same thing with my Nintendo powers. Like it always went to school with me. That's why they're so mm-hmm. really tattered right now. <laughs> <laughs> they don't stand up too well in the backpack. So, uh, with that... I, I had yes. a subscription to WWE Magazine long after I stopped being able to watch it. Yeah, me too. Because I didn't have cable and Raw, so Raw was just a foreign th- concept. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sorry. Foreign object. No, 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 I'm with you. I, I, it was pretty much the same thing for me, because I think I think it was, was the way I connected with it. Um, and finally, it was just like, eh, eh. It was that, and I had a Nintendo, and was still getting Nintendo Power well into Super Nintendo, and it was nice. just like, you know, I gave up when there was like Game Boy Color, and I'm like, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> um, awesome. So uh, with that, hey, we also had some interactions. We also have, always have great interactions over on the Facebook group uh, for Wrestling Mayhem Show, uh, and I threw out the questionnaire today. Of course, I, we, there's of course a huge thread about it, but I, I wanted to kind of get something a little more recent. Uh, asking, hey, what are you thinking about WWE Network at this point? Uh, are, is it is it go for you? Is there anything else you're um, um, you know thinking about? Uh, Lex out there, uh, he actually responded. It's as much of a network as Google Chrome is an OS. I, I think I refute that a little bit. But we'll get into that. Hey, I can hear somebody's TV by the way. Um, I'm paying for it for sure. Uh, but only to save on pay-per-view costs. They need a nightly sports center type of show, late night Conan type of show, an original programming that isn't centered around. Hey, remember that thing a long time ago we used to do? Okay. Uh, I'm astounded at how half baked their rollout is. The platform is good for them, but this is this is good for the future of a, a la carte TV. Uh, but why does it seem like they uh, don't know what they're doing? I disagree with that i, I, I think they have that. a very I highly disagree with that. i i think i, I go ahead lb 
I disagree somewhat. Um, I think if it does seem like they don't know what they're doing, it's because nobody's ever done this before. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. And, and you got to think. Um, this- but I agree. I would watch the fuck out of a uh, like WWE Sports Center kind of show if they did it right. Um, yeah. And uh, uh, like a late, not even a late night thing. Just put the JBL and Michael Cole show on there, and I'd watch it. <laughs> Bring um, back what was the, what was the dude's name that had the talk show on ECW? <sighs> Abraham Washington show with Tony Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back Tony Atlas, period. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, just Tony Atlas. Is he on Legend's house? I think he is. I think he is. Um, yeah. You know, I, I, I got to say, like, for lineup wise, remember this is something different. I think the big seller for this is the fact you get the pay per views. Everything else is just gravy. I don't think they had to put much more into that. Remember, I think if this was going to be a cable network, this is all they were going to need at this point is is Mm -hmm. these kinds of shows and they would just show old pay-per-views probably all day and night um i don't know i I think it's enough for me to throw my money at it as we've been talking about Mm -hmm. we have a big if you want a very extensive first you know thoughts on it we did a a pretty long hangout uh last wednesday night it's on the super feed on the itunes stitcher it's on uh, our our uh our um uh, under wrap-ups under our, our youtube page um but but yeah, I'm really sold on it. Again, I think uh, the pay-per-views have made it. You know, um, they're already pissing off Directv. Directv is mm-hmm. threatening to pull their oh. pay-per-views. Um, and I can't. I mean, everybody here is really kind of sold on this, right? If you're not sold uh, on it by now, you're not sold on it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what's wrong with you? <laughs> I will. Be, I'm going to give it one beginning. month. You give it one month to see how it is. I want to make sure because I've streamed legally pay per views through WWE.com before and they did not go well. What? Well, so, you, have, yeah. you have to get six months. I know, I know. No, when I say I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait one month, I'm going to wait. Oh, oh, okay. One month after it you know, rolls out, see what kind of technical issues there are. If everything works smoothly, I am so on board. So you're going to have it for WrestleMania? Uh, that seems likely, yes. Yeah, it's here if there's any other problems. Well, the thing, that's the first live event, though. Well, I guess other than NXT, um, that's going to be the th- big thing, is, is does, does something happen to that? Um, mm-hmm. I think I think you're going to have a better chance with this than, than any other time, because they're, they're teaming with MLB AM, which is the tech wing of MLB TV, who's been doing streaming for a while now. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I think it's nice that they're not building it themselves. I, I really think they're just kind of plugging their content into a, a platform that's already there, an infrastructure that might already be there, pre-built for mm-hmm. them. Um, so I think there's a better chance of this working out than pay-per-view issues in in the past, right? But we we we've been we've been through this as um, with Bobby, me, and and Sword. We've been through uh, video games where they have a well, they have the game, and then they have online play come after it. Mm-hmm. It and we work. know when servers go down, there is a shitstorm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's not WWE, but, but, really. That's 2K. Yeah, in that, in that that's case. That's more on them. But, but, but also, they, but still, if, if they have that actually. stream, yeah. and it crashes multiple times, there's going to be hell. <laughs> Pay-per-view refunds. Yeah, am I, that. Am I wrong as, on this one? Oh, yeah. And as far as downtime with this thing, I mean, it's not like it's not going to be without downtime. Netflix goes down, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, Hulu goes down. This this happens. Xbox goes down, you know, as a whole. Um, yeah, but they need to make sure they double down and make sure the pay-per-views work because that's going to be an issue. But then again, aren't yeah. you less pissed that you paid $10 and, and, and got screwed up than $65 and, mm-hmm. and got screwed up. Remember last year when mm-hmm. people paid full price, $55, $65 on the Xbox or app or whatever, and they didn't get refunds for missing an hour of the show? That's ridiculous. Yeah. Now that that's mm-hmm. fucked up. But at least, like, hey, we'll give you a month free if we screwed it up. I think they can pull that off. They need to at this point, right? Um, yeah. But other than that, I think, uh, you know, some 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 people saying, like, the rollouts, hey, there's not enough content. I don't I don't see how what? anybody can say there's not enough content. I've, I've seen several can people you... say this. Oh, it's only 1,500 hours. I think those people hours. don't understand the catalog that they're posting. No. Yeah. I don't think those people and, know what And they said they're going to add. Oh, sorry, Chris. 
I really don't think they know what content means. You get every T ECW pay-per-view. You get every WCW pay-per-view. You get Monday Night War. You get yeah. down. You get Superstars. And if you you wanted- get NXT. You get live freaking pay-per-views. Yeah, if you know you if want. you want to know how extensive that catalog really is, ask Mad Mike. He used to work for WWE. He knows <laughs> exactly. And, and all we're saying right now is pay per views. Um, these shows, uh, you'll get ma- you'll get all the main shows after the fact. Um, that's plenty to start with, you know. Plus they said, yeah, like they can add stuff to it. Yeah, there's going to be a live daily studio show in coming in the summer. They're going to add more stuff. They remember they did Tuesday Night Titans back when Cable was very very young. I can mm-hmm. see them doing something like that again, like the 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 Cole and uh, and Prime Danielle Time show. Wrestling, something like that. Yeah, Prime Time Wrestling. They could mm-hmm. do something like that. Maybe maybe they just get one of their guys and like, hey, can you do stand up? You know, maybe they bring back. You know, wouldn't it be awesome? Wouldn't it be amazing if they brought back Mick Foley to do a Conan O'Brien Jimmy Fallon type of show where he comes out <laughs> and does a monologue every night? Hmm. That would be amazing. Wouldn't that be interesting? Abraham Washington. You have all these guys that have spun off to different talents, shown their different talents in the ring, outside the ring. Some have left wrestling and are are doing amazing things. Wouldn't it be wonderful to kind of loop those people back in, uh, especially those that can do great things on television, and and do something like this? Uh, Or a McFoley one-hour special. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, a comedy special. So, yeah, why not, right? Maybe they'll bring in Cole Cabana. Who knows? Eh. Um, you know, you never know. They, you got to think. They have – this is beyond uh, – this, this can push beyond um, – yeah, everybody wants to be on Raw and be the champion and everything. But there are so many other things that people can do. You know how we talked about, like, how Santino will always have a job as long as they have – I guess they don't right now uh, – Saturday Morning Slam? Mm-hmm. And, st- and still, but then stuff like Saturday Morning Slam, because he fits a role, right? Now there's other roles. You don't have to just aim to be the champion to have a role with the company, right? Um, which means more wrestlers get jobs, you know, whether it be this Cruiserweight show we heard rumored, whether it be, you know, more stuff with NXT, maybe some other shows. And they do say more shows with in ring action are upcoming. And, and they teased tonight the return of Tough Enough on Twitter. Oh, they did! Awesome! Yeah. That's awesome! Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Bill DeMont picture, uh, posted a picture of himself in a, a hoodie, and it said something about Tough Enough. So. Awesome. Awesome. I just, I, I, This is just the beginning, and I think this is a, a, a tremendous first step. The fact that they marched out at CES, which is not their territory, is a tech conference, right? Um, mm-hmm. And like I've, I've read a lot of things where people said they were by, hands down the winner. They made the most noise and they made something that's going to happen. Absolutely. They were covered on almost every tech blog uh, and even gaming blog that I read. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of hours, LB. That says my mad mic on your uh, thing. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> anyways, here, Mike's saying they did say they were going to do a sports t- center type show. I guess this live studio show. Uh, that they're talking about um because you gotta think i, I do wonder what they are going to do for that live stream is it going to be all replays and say you know it, what's going to make me tune into that live stream rather than the other thing of course social media all of us watching a legend's house together or something like that right uh that mm-hmm. would make sense um so I, I think they're trying to aim for a lot of that stuff to be very social media active um as far as those programs go I, i'm very interested in this um i i can't so i thrown my wallet at the screen multiple times and while talking about this um it's, <laughs> and, it's, it's tremendous and, and like w- with the nfl um the nfl has all these like former football players and stuff like that like you could do a, a sports center show with like edge mm-hmm. and maybe like i know he's like 80 something but bruno san martino maybe yeah oh, you know amazing just like get former wrestlers to come back and just talk about what's going on in the shows you're doing a pre-show you're doing a post-show Make it happen. Wouldn't it be tremendous? Like, aren't they kind of, um, aren't they kind of already kind of, you know, testing the waters with this when they have the panel like on the paper yeah. news a little bit? I was, I was just going to say show. all of their like weird pre-show panel things suddenly made sense when they made this mm-hmm. announcement. I mean, the WWE is very is so unbelievably forward thinking when it comes to this. Uh, you know, we've talked about uh, over the past week the idea like, hey, they've been on Hulu. Hey, they, the, the whole idea that they they 
content ID, but they do not pull matches from YouTube. You can still find about everything. Let's see if that continues, guys, uh, with, with this becoming an availability. Um, they've been putting full matches on. They've been doing you know, a whole bunch of other things to make sure that audience is there. Uh, and and it, it all makes sense. Um, they, we were talking about WWE Network more the technical side over earlier the, tonight on the uh, awesome casting. You know, check that over at uh, SorgatronMedia.com, um, episode 182. But the idea that what's that? It said product integration. Right. Well, it covers all the bases, <laughs> right? Uh, but the idea. No, that I think that's how, synergy. How long actually. have we been? Um, how long have we been told to download the app when we're into the app? And from what I'm aware of, I'm pretty sure the way they were saying this, if you have the app, I'm pretty sure it's going to be updated and you can get into the WWE network. This thing is already on our devices that we're already mm -hmm. using, that we're already tuning into alongside on Monday night, or at least we were, or at least it's on there. They got us, right? Um, it's that easy. We're, we're already watching this stuff on Xbox or Chromecast or something. I heard they were giving away Chromecast at that conference. During the announcement, mm -hmm. they have not announced the Chromecast officially, uh, but I don't think it's going to take too much. If they're on the Android iPhone stuff, um, it's not going to take much for them to add that in. So maybe not at launch, but I bet it's coming. So. Although they won't let you view their YouTube videos on Chromecast because I tried tonight. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Used to. Yeah, the top 10 fails, Royal Rumble fails, you can't watch it on Chromecast. I swear I did like a week ago. Maybe they changed it because of the network. That might be. Oh, yeah, and you can completely – and there are every rights to do that, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I have stuff all the time where we try to share uh, wrestling. Like I, I try to show – I privately share um, matches that we record over the weekend, like the Raw, so that all the wrestlers can go check them out. Because I can get them up pretty quick with, with my bandwidth here and everything. Um, but some of them try to look at it on their phone, and since there's the music in there, they get pulled. Like like somebody uses an Eminem track, and it says, oh, you can't use this on mobile. It's like, sorry, man. You know, I can't, can't do anything about that. You know, uh, it, it's 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 another kind of thing. But it, but it's a great. At least we can know we can get that kind of stuff. And and what do you guys think about um, the idea that uh, they're going to have a lot of uncensored content on this? ECW, um, um, Chris Benoit. They're not, no, they're not pulling any of the Jesse Ventura commentary. Um, yeah, the Chris Benoit thing. Apparently, uh, the rumor is it's going to show up, but with a disclaimer at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, I will believe it when I see it. Yeah. Because I've heard this before. I've heard, oh, it's all uncensored. It's all blah, blah, blah all this stuff. I think they were really pushing that for maybe it was like the Royal Rumble uh, box set or something like that. And then logos were blurred and things were bleeped and all of that and poorly. So I, yeah. I will, will definitely uh, believe I it when I see it. I will never forgive them for what they did to my WrestleMania box set. Oh, yeah. That was a lot of money spent on a thing that they essentially ruined by not taking the time to do it properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even like, like old ones where you can't say WWF champion. It's like mm -hmm. WWE champion. <laughs> you know, it's, it's ridiculous. It's like, I know what you're talking about. Come on guys. And I don't think they were <laughs> legally uh, obligated to do that. I, I think it was yeah. a decision they made. Uh, maybe I think like, they, they maybe, can get around that now. Maybe, somehow. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Well, now they they're just like we're good. They're like whatever's over, so whatever, whatever ban is done, and look, this is what we look like. This is what it is, and we can't change that. You know, and this is their overall, history. They had a banner featuring the WWF logo. On what? The old mm -hmm. WWF logo. Where's Where's that? It was on old school. I missed that. They, 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 yeah, they picked, they showed something. A they said the words WWF champion or something like that at one point. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's there, and it's it's good they're trying it. But like like Lunchbox said, I'll see it when I believe it about the blood and the um, editing of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's certain things. I I I, I think your um, music will be still edited. Oh, yeah, that'll have to be. I mean, it, it, I cannot see them, unless they made a really big push to say, let's get clearances. Maybe they redid the deal since this is a streaming thing instead of DVDs. Because that, that's different That's different stuff, guys. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm excited for this. I, and, and maybe because, you know, I didn't really have the opportunity to do 24-7. And this is so much more than 24-7 in the long run. Um, 
Very excited. This is twenty four seven. This is twenty four seven. It is something because you can't put this mu put this much stuff on a cable system, at least the way they were delivering it. Um, what do you guys think about them doing a? Uh, this is only once. It's going to be a one shot, but they're going to do a live NXT. Uh, I believe opening week of the of the of the network. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Um, they're redoing well, the. What is uh, what is NXT? Well, uh, it'll be in, a, in about a where... month. In about a month, you're going to learn a lot about NXT because <laughs> there is not going to be a secret to this damn thing anymore. Hey, it's yeah. being prominently feel, featured. It's there's just... there's there's divas from NXT showing up in the crowds. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's it's there's there's it's a new show. Let's get past that right now, where we say that superstars at NXT are new. You got yelled about shows. that last okay. night. Let's, let's, not, let's not get into that. That they are not new. They, it's one of those. It's new to you if you watch typical TV. Okay, this is think about who they're talking to with this stuff. Wasn't um, that on Sci-Fi? <laughs> yeah. No. Was, didn't they do like uh, challenges and all that? Oh, I, yeah. I, I, mm. Mm. You know how many? You know how many people like are the, thinking the, that's what this is? Wrestling challenge. You know how many people think that's what this is? Yeah. So they're going to be educated really quick. So. But going back to the live thing, I can't wait to see the, the Sami Zayn versus uh, Antonio Cesaro best two out of three falls match. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. going to be a rematch. This is what they did before. Best. Um, they're already trash talking on Twitter. I noticed. <laughs> so. It's in February, guys. It's in Feb. It's at the end of February. We're excited for an NXT match. More than a month away, <laughs> and we have two WWE pay per views in the meantime. And what are we doing there? Very, very happy about that. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. I, I I can't even I really wish I really hope I think WrestleMania party I'm having at my place. I'm gonna put it on every screen. I'm gonna put it in the bathroom on an <laughs> iPad so you don't miss anything. Uh you know, we'll push this nice. thing to the limits. Nice. Um you Well then how are we gonna know well, no, no. Push your bandwidth to the limits. <laughs> Push it to the limits. <laughs> the only, the only thing is, the Lord, if you do I that, here, sir. how are we going to do the uh, Undertaker poop break? Because they'll be cheating. Now you don't have to. Now you can judge it, you know? Hey, that's the best say, part of the night. Yeah, oh, can, that's that's really cheating, accurate. Though, Make it an accurate judgment. The lights are raising. Time to wipe. Go to the neighbor's house. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the neighbor's house. Just poop in a bucket outside. <laughs> Why are you I'm pooping sorry, in my it. house? I'm What's sorry, going on? It's the Undertaker. <laughs> it's the Undertaker. Shut up. I'm trying to poop. It's the Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> I, have be, I have to beat him to the ring. <laughs> wow. He's like, what are you talking about? Are there any other, any other concerns, anything about this WWE Network thing you want to bring up? What's up, LB? It, uh, so I, I feel that it makes pretty good sense now that uh, – why uh, Hunter and Stephanie have been given more controls of the on-air product because Vince has been trying to put together all this shit. Yes. Um, isn't it interesting? He's been busy orchestrating. This, this as it stands now, as this project has been, uh, what we see today, took them six months to get together. Versus the last several years, the issue has been cable. The issues have been deal-making with cable, getting what they need out of cable, um, there's apparently uh, a route, I, I, somewhere I read that, uh, that uh, Vince uh, says there is actually a, a deal that they could pen tomorrow that would put them on cable, but he will not sign it. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Plus, think about it, and they've said in that there was a, a meeting today, uh, uh, one of the conference calls or me uh, financial calls, um, where they well, when they said if they get eight hundred thousand by the end of the year, they will be profitable. Uh, they will have broke even on this thing. Uh, they're going to fucking 800, have that. 800,000? I think they're going to do that. I don't know a single wrestling fan who isn't excited and willing to buy. No. For no. six months, they're going to have over 800,000. I, I feel yeah. like the ones that say that say they're, they, they're, they're not going to buy or you know, either can't buy, don't have internet, or don't understand the magnitude of what this service is. Agreed? <laughs> I didn't know those questions. Um, oh, um, so I, I think it's I think we fawned over the uh, uh, WWE Network enough here. Uh, so uh, we'll go to a break here. We'll bring in some more names. I will, uh, uh, you know, do a little bit of remember when. So first, so check out uh, what's coming up here. We got a DVD out on Sorgatron Media. A, a great piece we did with uh, Jimmy Corderas, a longtime WWE WWF ref. 
Uh, he started up. I think he called. I think his first job was it with uh, 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 the soon-to-be president Jack Tunney, if I recall the story correctly from the weekend. Um, but you can check out all that stuff. I think he brings up all that stuff on the DVD. He can learn how to be a referee, sides of the business you never even thought of, and a really a lot to show how important the third man in the ring is. And and really, one of the messages is, uh, uh, you know, indie guys, indie wrestlers, indie promoters. Don't skimp on these guys. You gotta make sure you got somebody capable of wearing. And there's a lot about that. Here's a little bit of uh, the uh, Jimmy Corderas refereeing 101, now available at SorgatronMedia.com uh, and Joe-Dombrowski.com. Uh, we'll be right back. Remember what? I shouldn't even put this on camera, but I'm going to say it anyways. Well, if you're a promoter or a, or a talent in the ring and you do not. And understand or underappreciate the value of a referee, then you're not going to succeed going forward. Anybody can do it. It's so simple. You just walk in the ring, you stand around, you yell and scream and say, you count one, two, three at the end of a match. It's so much more than that. There's so much detail involved in, become, in being a very good uh, professional wrestling referee. The main purpose of a referee in a wrestling match is to help enhance the match and help enhance the story that the talent in the ring is trying to tell without being a distraction. Referees do not get enough credit for, for, for what they do. Chief J. Strongbow says, you got your stuff with you? I said, yeah. He says, well, put it on your reffing tonight. Well, what do I do? Two guys are battling on the outside, right? You start your 10 count. When you get to four, one of them rolls back in. What's the count on the guy on the outside? Five. Yes. I see some guys start over once this guy rolls back in. Why? Now, from a logic standpoint, if I'm coming in here and I want to back this guy up, don't I know that this guy's standing right there? Counting over here. What are you counting, his butt cheeks? Heat doesn't go to the referee because they're taking advantage of you while you're doing your job correctly. Ignore the referee, I don't care. Count to seven, count to 10, count to 15. We're gonna get our double team thing, we're gonna get our double hip toss, our double elbow, double drop kick. Everybody's gonna go to the top, one's gonna drop a leg, one's gonna splash, we're gonna do this, and then I'm gonna get out. Again, you're sitting there like the I hated that spot, I never liked it. I've done it, it's not, I'm not saying I've never done it. I have done that spot, I just dislike it immensely. If you ended the match, you'd probably get a pat on the back from the office. Boys would be real pissed at you. A small facial expression will do a lot more than this over-exaggerated, oh my God, kind of thing. Referee bumps, in my opinion, should not look like you have been trained to take bumps. Rock looked right at Earl and said, in the middle of the ring, this is the finish. <laughs> and he counted three. Vince's big pet peeve is, do you remember Eddie Guerrero beating Brock Lesnar at, at the pay-per-view when he hit him with the frog splash after Brian took a bump and he got, it always drove Vince nuts that The 20 plus years I spent there doing what I loved doesn't get much better than that. If somebody says to you, yeah, but you're just a referee, say, damn right I am. And happy to be. Welcome back, folks. This is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. And it's time for the greatest segment on the greatest podcast in the greatest history of the greatest world. Remember when? Oh, 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 remember when? 
uh, 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 remember again. Uh, 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 remember when. Uh, 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 remember then. Ah, you didn't show Eamon, which is fine. He's waving. Um, so we're going to remember when. And uh, I don't know if you heard, but WWE made a big announcement about the this network bullshit that they're doing. So um, it looks like it's going to be a huge success. I don't know a single wrestling fan who's not on board. Um, but you know what? WWE's and also Vince McMahon's endeavors not always great successes. So this week we're going to remember some of the other side projects of the WWE and Mr. Vince McMahon. Um, and uh, there's probably going to be a little overlap. That's fine. Um, and I'm going to talk about one of their biggest failures, uh, maybe not their greatest publicized, but one of their biggest failures, and that is uh, WWE Films. Man, do those blow. They never came out with a good one, uh, and they lost a shitload of money. Uh, that's what I remembered. Eamon, how about you? I, I'd argue that point. I, I, I disagree with that. I, I Don't I fucking argue with that. This is what I remember. <laughs> it's a side project. It doesn't have to be successful, and it can be fine. Whatever. Fucking remember. I remember it shitty. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Eamon, how about you? I'm, I know. Remember good. Um, <laughs> my shit. That's a good uh, question. Um, oh, how about Thank the McMahon Senate run? <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice one. Solid. That's outside and, the box. And that, but it did produce that amazing gif of Vince McMahon looking like he wanted to kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> he does every day. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I have yeah, well, this toss to you, Riz. <laughs> I'll say it. The XFL sucked. Oh, yeah. oh, you you are a brave one for saying it was, that. It just I, didn't you know catch him. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do one better. I owned a Birmingham bolt hat oh, and an shit. Orlando Rage jersey. I own a Rage shirt. They were half off. And I think I have an Outlaw shirt too because that was my favorite team. I just bought a Rage jersey because it was the only XFL jersey he, they had. He hate me. He yeah, has one guy one left either. from the XFL that still plays in the NFL. Oh, wow. Really? Hmm. There's only one guy left. Isn't it a kicker? I think so. <laughs> I, m- I miss Tommy Maddox. I Tommy Maddox had a Tommy Maddox <laughs> for uh, two years. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I took most of yours. Enjoy, guys. <laughs> no, I got one. I got one, too. You got one? Okay. Yeah. We we'll got, we got Mike. It. Fucking... All right. right. Um, I got the World Bodybuilding Federation. <laughs> Ooh. Which oh, brought sad. us the narcissist Lex Luger. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, I remember in the build-up to WrestleMania 8, when Bobby Heenan kept plugging that, I, I was just scared because those guys did not look natural to me at all. I kept thinking, am I supposed to like this? Yeah, I, I was like, <laughs> I've never seen this on TV before. I don't want to see this on TV before. I, I mean, I was young. That, this I did mean, not look appeal at this to me footage. If you're on don't video, look at this footage I'm playing from WBF. It's the first thing that comes up when you when you search for it. Why? And this looks like I think this is straight out of that fan fiction you guys were reading the other night. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Don't forget to drink your Ico Pro. <laughs> yeah, and the Ico Pro commercials are weird too. Like, I'm sorry. You should be proud for working out in black and white. It doesn't look like he have his his red hair. Fuck you! I'm not gonna believe that. Wow, uh, mm-hmm. and yeah, I remember the like, Echo Pro and the uh, WBF uh, ads in like the the WWF magazine. I'm just like, I don't know what to do with this. You know, I <laughs> didn't know. Didn't so know. get boja. I, I just so I just hope boja. those pages oh, that no, on the no, other side no, of them no, there is something I can boja. make a sweet pog out of. Mm. <laughs> Bobby, how about you? Okay. Picture it. The year is 2001. The United Paramount Hold Network on, is hold still... on, hold on. What? Wait. 2001. 2001. Okay. All right, guys. United American Paramount. Power. The United Paramount Network is still a thing. Uh-huh. And on that uh-huh. network, there is a show called Man Hunt. Oh, boys in space. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Starring <laughs> John Cena as the prototype. What? 
Wait, what? The, WWE, the WWF was supposed to have contra a contract, but it fell through. They were supposed to use their wrestlers for this show. It oh, lasted wow. six episodes. Where can I find this? John Cena Thank and you. former American Gladiator Zap were among what? cast members. No. I love Zap. Did you watch this? The best. Yeah, I watched it. It was terrible. <laughs> Wait, wasn't uh, Zap the female character? Yeah, she was. Yes. Yeah. Okay, but I yeah, can't remember yeah, the show. Now, now I remember. Yeah, yeah, it was it was on. It was John Cena's first thing, and then he he became a WWE superstar. So like, like, like that was what introduced was us like, to Prototype. Is this when? He By was the way, like, uh, Prototype was also in the WCW movie Ready to Rumble. Yes, yeah. this is true. And he's also, I believe, he's also in a How to Be a Pro Wrestler video, along with uh, <laughs> Samoa Joe, Kaz, Christopher Daniels, with hair. Um, and a few other uh, familiar faces, uh, but I yes, think from like is. from about the same era, I think, because they, they all trained together at the, at the school to produce them uh, on VHS, yep. by the way. So spoiler alert: all those dudes we just named are really old now. <laughs> yes, um, yes. I also saw Kaz in this really bad backyard wrestling mat. Uh, uh, don't uh, talk, uh, sir. Don't do it. No. Backyard <laughs> dogs. That we I watched half of it, but Wheels watched the rest. Um, oh. But it has the, the it has the one girl from uh, uh, Grimm that's on now, as, but a lot younger, um, and and uh, the Black Ranger is in it. Hmm. Zach? Xavier no, Woods. Yeah. Thinking of Zach snuff is film. He watched a snuff <laughs> film. That's different. <laughs> Maybe the same thing. I'm not really gonna define that. I'm still. I don't know how far you went into it there, Sorg. But my God, I finished it and went. At it's an hour and thirty six minutes. I want back. Oh my Sword likes doing that, as wow. I found out. <laughs> I like watching really horrible <laughs> and if, movies. And if you hey, wanna... I got Netflix. I got an all I, all you can eat movie buffet here. I'm gonna watch the worst thing and not feel so bad about it. And to be fair, that's the probably the first thing. thing. And, and you're gonna do the, the same thing, thing with WWE Network. Network. You're gonna go watch the Halloween <laughs> Havocs. You're gonna go watch. Uh, oh fuck yeah! Oh, Havocs fuck are great. Right? Oh, Havocs are great. Oh, Butcher getting what electrocuted. <laughs> yeah. I want Throw the to go on from the beginning of pay per views for WWE as far back as you can go, and watch them in order. No, no, I think it's more challenging to do it for WCW. I wonder if they're Bobby, gonna or ECW or WCW. Bobby, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you do not want to watch the main event. I promise you, you do not want to watch that. Do you think they're going I, to keep the uh, the sunny event? disclaimers? I'm trying to save you. Start at WrestleMania. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! No, no, no! What are you What are you talking about? What's this, this main event? It was bad. What, 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 I, don't, I don't even remember the matches on it. It's it was, really it was really a bad. <laughs> uh, like there, there was a dark point in history where. Greg Valentine was almost a main eventer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that. I think he like, did it well. Well, back then with the IC title, I remember uh, the way they did the IC title. It felt like the world title, but with Greg Valentine, you know. Um, yeah. yeah, I have some tapes of that. But mm, are you are you no, sure Greg you're not Valentine. thinking the big Hammer events? Don't hurt him. Yeah, exactly. He'll hurt your eyes. Bobby, though. no. Are you are you sure you're not <laughs> thinking the big event there, Mike? Damn it. Yeah, maybe maybe it's the big event. That it's I actually still... have on the the one that ended with like him and like Hogan and Paul Orndorff, and they're in the middle of like a baseball field in Toronto. Yeah, I think that's it. I have yeah. this on VHS, sir. So sorry. That was a fever dream that you were having. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, then, and then there was this tag team called the Machines. And there was like Machine, and then there's another. Oh, machine, no, no. The Machines. Yeah. The Giant oh, Machines. Oh, right, looks just the like Machines were the thing. Giant, oh, honey, but it doesn't make sense. You just drink your Pedialyte and have your squeezy pop. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy's going to take care of you. Sir goes watching Cajun Dateline. <laughs> okay, who's left? Who's left? Who's left? Who's left? Pedialyte reference. I love it. Wheels. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Do I have anything from WWE that was a failure? Let's see. It doesn't – no. It's just a side project. <laughs> it doesn't have a to be a failure. It doesn't project. have to be a failure. Just because everything, everything they've ever done is a done. failure doesn't mean that it has to be a failure. <laughs> okay. I'm, uh, here's a good one then. Putting him with the Wyatt. That was a failure. What's there? That That's not a side project. <laughs> it's not a side <laughs> project. <laughs> Jesus. That's You're not that's fucking not listening to the parameters the of the remember here. when, god damn it. You didn't look to the right. <laughs> you fucking looked this. to the left. And you didn't listen to the parameters. <laughs> I listened to the parameters. I just didn't have shit. <laughs> I got one. Oh, it's okay, Wheels. Let me, show you, let me show you the Rebel. glaring exception uh, to, to what you didn't bring up. 
And I want to say, any time the WWE <laughs> and the WWF have ever done a comic book. Yeah. Uh, hey, that's not uh, true. That's not true. The, the new comic books look really Nicole good, actually. I, I, the, the, you know, so, yeah, I mean, you think that because one. you don't read comic books. No, I, no, I, I had a friend of mine that bought one legitimately. Books. I have a friend that heard it was good, that bought one. And it was the Kevin Nash one, and oh no, it was not the Kevin Nash one. <laughs> no, the Kevin Nash one was horrible. Yeah. Hey, no, the one that Mick Foley Fucking is doing. The Ultimate right Warrior now, one was the shit. <laughs> the one that Mick Foley is doing right now is very interesting. The art is kind of shitty, but the story is hey. interesting. And I kind of want to see where it goes because it's Mick Foley, so it could go. He could go full Tedum Brown with this shit and be really yeah, fucked up be. about it, it and could it could be. work. It could be. I, I agree. When I saw Mick Foley attached to it, that was promising. But I know how the rest of these gone. WWE Heroes was the last one I read, um, and that got weird. Like, oh, WWE Heroes was bullshit. Hey, you know a side project that wasn't a failure? Huh? WWE Ice Cream Bars. Damn straight, <laughs> but they won't bring that shit Dude, back. You know I got a second one, too, since uh, my brother and on the same – screen is not doing one um a wwe video game that wasn't about wrestling <laughs> crush oh, hour crush hour, crush hour. Crush hour. Yeah. don't do shit on crush hour don't you shit I on did, crush, hour. On crush hour crush it's hour a is awesome. shitting. it's That's a side project they didn't say it failed their parameters <laughs> the twisty rockets <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> dude, I want to play some fucking Crush Hour right now. You know what? I if wish, I can get a picture for Chachi Xbox. Plays, I'm bringing fucking Crush Hour with me. Dude, I got Crush Doesn't Hour. Chachi no, no, I got, I got Crush, Crush Hour. Hour every single okay. year. What's that? Somehow, doesn't Chachi end up playing Crush Hour every no, single year? I think year? we threaten to do it every year, but it doesn't really end up happening. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna do huh. it. If I, if I can come down for Trash and Plays, I'm fucking. I don't think we it. ever end up with a PlayStation 2, is the problem. Need to fucking play Crush WrestleMania hour. the arcade game. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's bad. Going to two stones. That is bad. I mean, we have an N64, and we have just about. You know, I think we, I do have all the important uh, wrestling games from that, so that that's something we could do as well. WrestleMania um, 2000. Hey, from the chat. Uh, What's the chat? Remember? Hey, I can't remember now. Also, oh, tout. <laughs> Kelly Cow. Yep. Tout. I Solid. don't know if that was them though. Solid. Uh, Nine Eleven. What? Mm. Hey, uh, hey, holy fuck! Who was that? Was wow. yes. that Kelly, are you implying something? <laughs> Why would you know. even mention that? Uh, the WCW comic book was fucking sick, bro. The W. Yes, it was. I had one where they had a battle royal, and uh, Johnny B. Bad was in it. Johnny be bad in a comic book. There you go. Um, so let us know. Uh, tell us on at Mayhem Show on the Facebook Wrestling Mayhem Show um, on the YouTube Good comments because we clip this out and put it by itself. Go find that um, and anywhere else. Let us know uh, your favorite. They don't have to suck <laughs> side projects with the WWE WWF. Um, even more fun. Give us some WCW side projects. Was holy crap. Yeah, you piece oh, of shit. Oh, Give us God. some WCW, WCW side projects. Racing. In the meantime, uh, tell us who wants to talk about some T-shirts. Some what? I'll tell you about some motherfucking T-shirts, Sorgatron. Tell me something about some motherfucking T-shirts, help me. Whoa! The hell What's wrong, that? Sword? What's wrong with your mouth? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You, I'll fix it. Oh, you're talking like all your teeth fell out. <laughs> <laughs> that, happened that happened to me one time. That happened to me. It was uh, 1907. I was panning for gold uh, in Peters. San Francisco. We called it San Francisco back then uh, because the letter <laughs> O hadn't been discovered. And uh, I'm sitting there panning for gold, panning for gold. What? Uh, elbow and motherfuckers also trying to pan for gold. And uh, and I, I got it. I got a fucking a, a gold nugget size of my head. Probably not the size of my head. Probably about the size of my brain, which has to fit inside my head so it cannot be larger than my head. So um, I get the gold nugget and I think to myself, this is it. This is what – this is – I made it. I fucking made it. And then somebody smacks me on the back of the head, takes my gold nugget. And all I wanted to do with that gold nugget was time travel. I wanted to invent time travel so I could come to the year 2014, go to ProWrestlingTees.com and buy me a 
Wrestling Mayhem Show t-shirt. That's right, folks. From 1904 to 2014, ProWrestlingTees.com has been your place for all things Pro Wrestling t-shirts related. You could go, and back then, you could get t-shirts uh, for uh, for local, like, bare-knuckle brawlers uh, who didn't really have names. Nobody knew who they were, but it didn't matter because the internet wasn't developed anyway. But the t-shirts existed, and they exist now. And lucky for you, you live in the age of the internet. You can go and buy a professional wrestling-themed t-shirt. You can get them for just about anybody you want. You like gold dust? Get it for gold dust. Like Claudio? Get it for Cla- I'm sorry, Chris Hero? Get it for Chris Hero. Do you like the Wrestling Mayhem show? You are in motherfucking luck, my friends, because we have t-shirts there. We've got the glorious property of WMS t-shirt. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com and that classic <laughs> logo, red and white WMS Wrestling Mayhem Show. Go and check it out. ProWrestlingTees.com. Buy a t-shirt. Wrap yourself in the finest mayhem. Tell them 1904 sent you. It won't do you any good, but you know what? It'll confuse them, and that's worth something. Thank you, LB, for that. So I think the other big thing we need to talk about is, of course, our good friend, the Ultimate Warrior, uh, being inducted into the uh, Hall of Fame this year. Uh, Real quick, uh, yay or nay on it? How many yays we got? Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Any nays? He deserves to be in. Any nays? I'm not saying he doesn't deserve to be in, but I um. never cared about the warrior. Okay. 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 And he's not everybody's cup of tea. I mean, he was a certain section uh, of of the uh, WWE, WWF lore. He was the guy that was supposed to have really kind of uh, had the torch passed to him. Uh, by Hulk Hogan uh, at, at WrestleMania 6. If you ask Hulk Hogan, he says that there was no reaction to him winning the title at WrestleMania he 6. Say it's Jack Tunney's face. Say it's Jack Tunney's <laughs> face. Because Hulk Hogan I, is I a say, shitty person. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, I would say that the Ultimate Warrior will become the worst, uh, the least talented uh, professional wrestler to be in the Hall of Fame. Really? Yes. Yep. Skills. I mean, yeah. on the microphone, world class on the microphone. But in the ring, nope. holy fuck. And no, he said professional wrestler. I did say professional wrestler. I did see that a tweet. Not, I did see a funny tweet from some celebrity wing. I did see a funny tweet from somebody mentioning how like at at WrestleMania six, like Warrior's probably one of the fewest dudes to get like the biggest pop for the shittiest splash ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's amazing. Also, he's a, a fucking homophobe, so I'm not. Yeah, I found that out there, today because so. I didn't know about that. But oh. he's a super homophobe. He is. He he's is a huge definitely. biggest piece of shit, racist um, bastard. He's, yeah. yeah, he's 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 gone on some pretty racist rants. Like in the middle of his, apparently colleges will hire him to talk. Because that's a good idea. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Um, yeah, well, and he's, have you seen some of his videos? Not anymore, they I haven't seen videos, but I've heard about the fallout from some of his uh, appearances, including everything that we just talked about. Um, so I wonder what happens when he has a live mic in front of the WWF WWE audience here. And um, that's why that's why JBL kept saying, "I can't wait to hear that speech, Cole, <laughs> Maggle, Maggle. I can't wait to hear his speech." <laughs> you think about it. It, okay, if they thought Flair was bad doing the whole WW 2K press conference was bad, wait until they get to Warrior. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's bad. And, like, JBL, when he does commentary, goes on rants and stuff like that. But, like, I don't know about, if like, Warrior just busting out that queering doesn't make the world go around. Like, that's going to be kind of... <laughs> uh, they they let yeah, the Iron cool. Sheik have a live mic at the, at the Hall of Fame. True. Warrior but but when he does have a live him. mic and he almost goes on a rant on Raw and Santino's like, no, dude, no, I'm thinking this. But, yeah. I'm sure there are plenty of other people in the uh, in the Hall of Fame who are bigots and racists, but the difference between the Ultimate Warrior and these other guys is that they don't talk about it in public, and the Ultimate Warrior <laughs> said it college students. To be fair, we should call him by his legal name, Warrior Warrior. Wherefore art thou warrior? When my station <laughs> goes yes! to your anus. Points! Points! Are you reading the yes. fan fiction from last night? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, not the fan fiction. And no. the seven moons. <laughs> so here's a question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who inducts Warrior? Oh, that's a good question. Nobody. Hogan? Warrior inducts Warrior. Yes. Think it ends up being Hogan? Oh, or is it Jake? I would love to see it be Vince. Who would you get? Okay, we, okay what was his biggest Undertaker? Fears? What was his biggest fuse? Okay, no. earthquake. Okay. He's, no, he's passed. no. The only person Undertaker is ever going to induct is Paul Bearer. Yeah, that's true. 
Yeah, I, I, I could agree with that. Um, and do we see that this year? I, I think so. I, I think it needs to. It was too soon to do it last year. It mm. really was, I think. It's and plus, clearly, especially it's with clearly the angle they were running, they, they clearly really couldn't do it, do it last, last year. Mm. Okay. No, they didn't do it last year. Uh, with, I, 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 I think it was just too close to it. Now, this is, this is you know, it is Wikipedia, so take it for what it is. But uh, the WWE Hall of Fame Wikipedia says he is, will be inducted by uh, Hulk Hogan. That's what I figured. Oh, wow. oh, I highly doubt that. I don't know. I, I think uh, it's the only person. I think it's the most logical. I, I think Hogan will do it. It's the most logical. I think, I think, I think Hogan, Hogan will do it. do it just so he can go over on Warrior again and get his win back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A match breaks out at the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Yeah, wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, well, it's it's kind of like when the uh, the uh, uh, hacksaw Jim Duggan uh, Harley race thing at the Slammys. That'd be, oh that'd be pretty God! <laughs> that is my favoriteest thing I've ever seen. And on the, that I is our re- yearly I mention for Harley the ha- race hacksaw Jim Duggan brawling at the Slammys. <laughs> oh my God! It's my favorite Slammys moment ever. Ever. You got fucking Ultimate Warrior going in WWE Hall of Fame. You got Kiss going in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's the year of the face paint. Legion of Doom's already in there. Who else? Uh, where's Demolition at? Huh? I think Demolition's in there. In. I think Are so. they? Hold Hold on. On. No, they're not. Yeah, in. No, there's no second. way they're in there. You can't. Yeah, it would have been a crime Demolition. if they put them in nope. before the Road Warriors. Road no, no, Demolition's Warriors. not in How about Powers of Pain? Demolition is not in there. Oh, fuck that. Powers no, pain. not Powers of Pain. Mantar. Mr. Fuji's in there already. Powers Mantar. of Pain. Man, no. Rock. Fuji. Uh, Mr. Fuji is. Sleepy Robot, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy Robot is the other name for William the Refrigerator, oh. Harry. Oh, I got it too. There you, there you go. Dusty Rose. Okay, here's Mr. another question, Perfect. and this is a side thing, and I don't know if there's been any rumors floating around, but is there any – who's the next person to go into the celebrity ring of the Hall of Fame? Maria oh, that's Menendez. interesting. They keep bringing to oh. dragging out for uh, WrestleMania. What's her name? Maria Menounos. That's the one. No. Maria. Yeah, that's what I just said. No, no. I Mr. Oh. Mr. T. Bobby T. points points. Mr. T. <laughs> How is Mr. T not in there yet? How is he Mr. not T in there? Mr. T should be in there. Made WrestleMania. I think it's like uh, a copyright. Hogan to induct some, anyone. Hogan there's some, there's some legal Mr. reason T. why he's not in there. Lawrence Taylor. No. Uh, I think he can. No, no, you can't no, no. induct Lawrence Taylor after what happened post Mania. Really? Oh yeah, what happened? That's, yeah. Why, what happened post Mania? He got into some shit. Oh really? Yeah, that's true. He, <laughs> oh, with he, the coke and stuff. Ah, who the fuck cares? No, ah, come on. It's Ultimate Warrior has killed and eaten three people. Since <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but two of those were former stuff. Ultimate Warriors just to gain their powers. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the uh, OWN is not Oprah's network. It's his. Her. He's. She's running it for him. Oprah. Well, induct Oprah. Induct that fucking that uh, sumo joke. guy. That, big show that was horrible. Aki Bono. Bobby, Bobby, no. Yeah, Aki Bobby Bono. Negative points. Yeah, Bobby does not win this one. No. Wow. Uh, but yes, yeah, celebrity wing. Um, you could put Snooky. Bob Uecker. I can see Uecker. Bob Uecker. Bob Uecker's in Bob there. Uker. Oh, is he? Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Bob Uecker's in. That's right. But they don't have they don't have a celebrity inductee every year. So no, no. But I was Pete Rose. The idea. Pete the Rose, Rose is already in. Yeah. Oh, I know he's in there. <laughs> Jeez. Um. Well, uh, Arnold. Actually, Floyd Mayweather. Arnold. Yeah. Well, Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. I think, Mayweather, uh, I think is Tyson. Yeah. Tyson's already in there, I believe. Right? Tyson. Yeah. Tyson, Tyson was uh, 2012. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, but we, Bob Costas. I can see is well, Floyd's still fighting, isn't he? So I, I can't see them doing it while he's still sort fighting. Of. <laughs> sort of. Sort of. Sort of. Boxing fucked up sports, sort. <laughs> <laughs> How about Liberace? Yeah. I, I, I yes, put in Liberace yeah, yeah, but behind the candelabra. The motherfucker yeah. just won a Is gold just put Michael Is Douglas out of the there? Hall of Fame stage. You can do that. Razor <laughs> Franklin. Hank Pym oh, yeah. into the Hall of Fame. I think they should put in Raven Simone. Bobby, no. Bobby, no. Raven Simone. Oh, Wait, is, is Raven Simone in the Raven gear? <laughs> oh, that would be great. What about Raven? Simone. Hey, uh, guys, we should probably talk about Raw. 
No, 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 no. This is too much. Why? This is this is this is good um, stuff. Because what happened on Raw? Awesome Nothing. They fucking they ditched a storyline that was. Oh fuck too your early. face! Fuck your face! Ditch the sto- what else were you going to do with that? Who cares? What else were you going to do with that storyline? You can't no. You can't say who cares. No longer than a couple of weeks. No, no. I don't. Well, what honestly, else are you gonna do with that? Wait, weren't we just what? saying? This wait, 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 wait. Bad. It was a good ending for that storyline. No, no, no. Amen, this, Amen, it was a fine ending for the storyline. It wasn't really an ending they, though. Because they it's you know what? They could have but... actually done something with the Daniel Bryan character, made him more violent, make him learn something. He's fucking from... violent. Shut up. Make him learn something from the the Wyatt family. Oh my god! Any of that? Instead, he hung out with him for a well, couple we don't matches. Have the explanation. Dude, no, 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 you don't get it though. You don't get. Oh, it. I don't get it. <laughs> the point, the whole means of upper, the means of how, why Brian did what well, he did was to get his hands was to get his hands on Bray. Oh, uh, I didn't the watch the main group. event. Oh, uh, what the hell? Well, then you can't fucking talk. Oh, well, son I'm, of a muting, bitch. I'm muting you. Plus, plus <laughs> Kane helped him. Oh, shit. Kane helped him, too. Yeah, the whole notice is that <laughs> yeah, Team I think Hell that's No more, is still together. That's the way more interesting part is the fact that like Kane pretty much helped him made this make this happen. Uh, and I want to uh, see what, what comes forever. from that. All right, yeah, I'm on board then. That sounds awesome. But also, you're, you're I'm tired of people, and, and I'm not trying to dog at you, LP, but I'm tired of people being like, they could have done longer with this, or they could have gone longer. I don't care if it's a year. I don't care if you do it for, like, three, four months, three, four weeks. It's just I just want good storytelling. Honestly, they I, couldn't have gone longer with it, though, because you can't have a, a Wyattized Daniel Bryan in the Rumble mm-hmm. unless – Daniel Bryan and Bray Wyatt are the last two people in the match. And, and well, no, I and agree. It shouldn't go any longer face. because I yeah. misunderstood what the ending was. <laughs> still, and to keep his heat going too. Stop you know? arguing with wrong lunchbox. I I fully admit my incorrectness. <laughs> but no, I am basking in it, great. and I, I, I and I apologize. <laughs> It was uh, good stuff. It was, it was good stuff. It was, it was I, good, I, I, but... somebody, somebody was messaging me uh, privately earlier today, and he was saying, oh. uh, what the heck? They could have done so much more with this. You know, Why can't they didn't go anywhere with this like LB was when he was misinformed earlier? Um, I and I said, no. I said, no. This is the perfect thing. You got to think mm-hmm. about how boring is it usually around this time leading up the Royal Rumble when there's the holidays and there's nothing that's of value on these programs. Right. And we had something interesting, different, holy crap, with a great payoff that made that crowd go bananas last night. It gave me chills last night watching Bananas. I and not to predict. I, like, not to, oh, no. That, not crowd, to try to like, that crowd has not been that explosive since Stone Cold came out on a beer truck. Come no, on. No, no, no. No. My point is that crowd has not been as explosive since the John Cena Daniel Bryan match at SummerSlam before that on Raw. I think this is the perfect way and it gets people excited and not to like armchair book or anything, but this is the perfect way to build momentum for Daniel Bryan winning the Rumble. Yes, it is. Yeah. I guess it's a tremendous it's absolute, big thing. Because if they book him in a match of Bray Wyatt before the Rumble and, and Bryan, Bryan wins the match, but then the Wyatts beat him the fuck down. Then the authority puts Daniel Bryan in at number one, and he's like Brett goddamn Hart, who was injured the whole time during the Rumble, and he goes on to win. Yeah, so we got we got do it. we got some breaking news on Daniel Bryan. Uh, apparently, he suffered a concussion last night. Oh no! Well, I, I heard Man. that's only rumor. I heard. I heard no, it, it, the WWE confirmed it. Yeah, did they? WWE okay, could be working everyone too. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, still. They're not entirely truthful with a lot of their reports on, on their own site. So we'll, we'll see. I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> and and also, guys, I don't know about you, but I was very entertained on Raw last night. Oh, my God. I love Emma. Uh, we talked about, about the NXT kind of invasion Emma. happening here. Who's Emma? I, I will fucking Riz, you know exactly you. who Emma is. <laughs> Emma... Emma is the greatest thing happening right now, and I honestly am so glad she's called up, she, or presumably is being called up. She's had like amazing matches as of late. With even like they had, the, she had a great series with Natalia on NXT, which is really good. 
Um, there's just there's she's very talented and very entertaining, and I'm so glad that she's coming up as Emma. She's coming up as the gimmick that she was playing in NXT. Are we are we concerned about that anymore? Really? Is that, is that I don't, still a concern? I think they can make it work. I think they can make it work. No, 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 no. Is it still a concern that they don't come up as the NXT well, gimmicks? My concern wasn't that she wasn't going to like come up as the gimmick. My concern, and a lot of people have this concern, is that she was going to come up as the gimmick and nobody was going to get it. Yeah. Because it's well, such a still, niche she thing. She still hasn't done the gimmick yet. That's true. Like, she just had a sign that said hashtag Emma Tainik. Well, she had the sign and she was doing the dance. In the crowd, no, but, yeah, uh, but they didn't focus here, on her doing here, the dance. So only a small move. percentage okay. know what the hell you're talking about. I understand only that. The, only, only the few have watched Emma do what she does. I get that, but I think they can to address other, that. I think they can people, recap it for everyone people. when she comes up. JBL addressed it on commentary. He didn't go in depth with it, but he said, "Hey, that's Emma from NXT." And eventually they can say, hey, this is why she's doing the things she's doing. He did? Yeah, he did. Yep. Okay. Yeah, he, well, it was it was very brief. He's just like, hey, that's Emma from NXT. And Michael Cole's and then, like, you know about NXT, because... JBL. And he's like, okay, back to this match. <laughs> but yeah, but the, they the, can the address it. They can give back to it. Is. But especially, but, since but now be... and also now that NXT is going to be on the network live, yeah. they can give backstory. Mm-hmm. And they almost yeah, have to on... in order to make people give a shit. About but she's on the show. You don't live. like Riz? That's your that's your that's your modus operandi. Not that I don't like. I don't watch. Oh, big college boy words. Well done. Somebody's getting. No, he indicated just stole that there. because I said it five minutes ago. Because he can. Yeah, he did. Did you? I don't pay attention when you talk. <laughs> but. Like, <laughs> Yeah, but you <laughs> some sorry, attention Mike. to each other last night. Oh God, I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk you about guys, that. You guys should like read a, a, an erotic fanfic right now. I was oh, in, I was no. in a hangout by myself with those two, and I needed an adult. What? You were in the hangout? Wait, 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 because I was watching the hangout. No, 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 no. <laughs> when Raw started. Oh, oh, it, oh, it like, was I'm me, watching. Mike, and I, Eamon, I, I, and they were reading this stuff to I me. Imagine <laughs> you, and I read the, I, I imagined you during this thing I last a, night. Uh, I picked no, the Oxana one because I wanted to appeal to you, Bobby. And spoiler alert, talking. there's rape in it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. There's rape you, in it. What do you think like of Bobby? Just I needed an adult. Show. There's wow. rape in it. Wait, 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 wait. So, so I'm sorry. I just want to collect my what? imagery that is – I know it's now wrong, but I had this imagery that you guys were both in the hangout last night reading that thing. And then just Bobby in the corner not popping up because he's completely quiet <laughs> and just kind of huddled by himself. We forced Bobby. Bobby. Yeah, pretty much. We forced Bobby. Pretty much you forced Nobody hangouted Bobby him. Bobby in the corner. With That's the, why I was sending fanfic. tweets for help. So that was weird. I, I, I mean, and then you did the supermarket sweep after that one. Yeah, yes. which honestly, that then, one wasn't. Nobody's getting to that. Let's put and it this way: me, nobody's getting to that. If they made it through the rest of that one before and got to that, I think they're going to be very disappointed. They got me all riled up last night, and Oksana wasn't on Raw. <laughs> yeah, that's not my fault. Yes, it is. Hey, all I know is that we're appealing to a new audience that in, that's into Antonio Cesaro ravaging the butthole of Alex Riley. Okay? <laughs> I need an adult. I learned terminology. Oh, really? I'm, re- I'm really genuinely sad that I missed this. It's on YouTube. You can oh, no, watch no, it LB, anytime. LB, you know, I will right not put it on alley. the super feed. Would you, um, like, would you guys like some sweet tea and some brownies? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What? Also, Abby, spoiler you, you alert, it ends it with time. Alex Riley fireman's carrying Antonio Cesaro. <laughs> In the... Yes. Yes, Sorg. In the... It ended with a fucking attitude adjustment out of the hotel room. <laughs> I'm not okay with any of this. I just want you to yes, know. You yes, you are. You are perfect with this. Okay it is It is on this. your feeds. It's on. Therefore, no, 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 no. you it's assume on one feed, and it's not added to any playlist, so you have to look for it, it okay? It's not at your <laughs> super feed, Sorg, it's until not, you add it. it no, 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 no. There's another word for the feed that I haven't found yet that would, have, that would, that would go on. That's Sorg, <laughs> Sorg, will you separate the supermarket sweep one and put that one on there? It, no, you can separate it. 
I don't know how to fucking do that. I'm not you, a tech you guy. You can figure out how to use a YouTube editor. I'm an editor, idea man, and you can sword. Split, you can figure out how to use a YouTube editor, and you can split it out if you really want to. Otherwise, the supermarket <laughs> sweep is lost to a generation of mayhemers. It's okay, guys. Oxana's on SmackDown this week. Oh, thank God. Um, uh, it all matters. The supermarket answer. sweep one wasn't as good as the other one because the other hey, one had the phrase Bobby, "coating uh, his insides." Amen, amen. Bobby, talk? Bobby, I have a feeling that Oksana is going to be the replacement for JoJo on Total Divas. Yes, I have a funny feeling about that because she won two matches, and the Bellas and Eva Marie are all, and like they're all doing announcing on SmackDown, and they just all happen to be Total Divas. Mm. Hey Mike. So, hey Mike. How's that? How's, yeah. that? how's that? Agents of Shield? It was very cool tonight. All right. Sir. All right. Hey. Amen. Hey Amen. It Amen. was ice cold. Oh. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. Yeah. Hey not giving you spoilers how, at all. How was that indie mayhem show last week? Last. It was great. It was so much fun. Things happen. I enjoyed listening. Be to more it. descriptive with your words. We <laughs> talked with uh, Joe Dombrowski so about fun. cool things and about wrestling talk, and it was intellectual and informative. Yes, it was. And I like Joe Dombrowski, and we need to have him back on again. Yes, yes, I think he's going to be a semi-regular on the show. And I love KFC. And I kind of want to read fan fiction on Joe Dombrowski. Oh, oh my God! Was when I said it, I'll, we'll have to pitch that to him to a, for a DVD project. Or an audiobook yes. project. I like turtles. Joe Dombrowski reading an audiobook of like sexy fan fiction. Tell me people oh, won't buy it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'd buy it. Somebody tweet him this I'd idea. Somebody second. tweet him this idea. Oh, please. Please. This is amazing. Um, guys, yeah, we started that Indie Mayhem show. You can check it out. We have it, of course. We're posting all these at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. It's, of course, we have the Super Feed. It's on Stitcher. It's on iTunes now. Just look up Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed. Uh, and you can get all the audio, including the Hangouts now. We're going to start putting those in there, uh, including last week's stuff with TNA, Raw last night, as well as the uh, Indie Mayhem Show and the WWE Network Surprise uh, wrap up. So if there's anything that pops up there, um, uh, speaking of pop up, up, I will not put the triple X fanfic in there. Um, so you have to go look for that on YouTube. Uh, I, I think I just put an explicit Did tag I... on it, Sork. No, no, no. There's already <laughs> explicit tag on our stuff. That goes beyond. Just put a mind. super explicit tag. I on don't it. think I can get more explicit than that. It goes beyond explicit. Sword. There's Sword. no beyond explicit. There I is or is no, 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 no. You go listen, LB. You, I challenge you to go listen to this thing. LB, you will love me. it. Sword. Tell me. Just I want you, you, LB. I want you to listen to this thing. I want you to listen to this thing. Um, okay. And then Just I want this. you to give your honest opinion, commentary, uh, under the YouTube. All right. Yes. Like, just, All right, I think that. anybody should have input to this. Is uh, as far as uh, literary works, it is the thoughtful <laughs> ride of uh, of at DJ Lunchbox. <clears throat> sure. Yeah. Just make them kiss. This is what's that? Kiss. Just make them kiss. Wait, 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 Riz, Riz. And uh, uh, this way. The other way. The other way. There the other you go. Way. There you go. Almost. And the kiss. Oh. And the kiss. And, and how is this okay. not explicit, Sork? <laughs> and this doesn't make any sense to audio. Guys, uh, Wrestling Talking. Mayhem Show. Learn. WrestlingMayhemShow.com or on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Spreaker. Uh, yep. Where else you can drop us a line at? Good times. Good times. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, 412-206-WMS0. Uh, and, 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 of course, you can join us here live every Tuesday night at live.sorgatronmedia.com at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And then check out at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be doing the Indie Mayhem Show like we're doing here next. Join us all night, guys. Uh, thanks to everybody joining us. Hey, thanks to thank you, Sork. everybody. Yes. We have to say what we learned. Oh, that's how we end the show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, I got that out of the way so we don't have to worry about it anymore. There you go. Yeah. What'd you learn, Papa Lunchbox? Oh, uh, I learned that when I have to go to bed early, I should really read the raw recaps a little closer to find out what happened. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please do that. Sorry. What Sorry, What about folks. you, Wrestle fan? <laughs> I learned there's a fan fiction out there with the description. Daniel Bryan tries to regain CM Punk's trust by indulging in a special kind of meat. 
and it's called the vegan relapses. Yes, man. Yes, I'm gonna read that tonight. My school used to serve chicken hot rods. I wonder if that's it. Riz, what'd you learn? <laughs> I learned that you can buy EC3, you can bid on EC3 signed Crocs. <sighs> and I almost won it. Huh. Yeah, I'm yeah, not buying any, sure. I'm not doing I it thought, again. Well, I didn't look at them right because I thought they were baby shoes. No, nope, <laughs> they're Crocs. Apparently they're Warm. not baby shoes. Okay. No, sir, Crocs are baby shoes. Oh, what about... <laughs> hey. Shut your mouth. They're comfortable as shit. The well, only acceptable human thing to wear Crocs is babies. Your face. What about you, Wheels? What did I learn? I learned that I will never, ever listen to Eamon and Mad Mike read fan fiction again. Yes, you will. Mm. That's what about lie. Lunchbox? That's Eamon, a lie. Eamon, you will listen to it. Read, read that fan fiction right now. <clears throat> uh, where's the good part? <laughs> they just made a liar out of me. Riz, you I, suck. I can't read this on the arms. Bad I feel Mike, what did I'm you sorry. learn? I'll read it. Send it to me. I'll read it. <laughs> Send it I in good learned, times. Man, I'm sorry. I learned that the first yeah. beats of Oksana's music can be inserted everywhere during professional wrestling. <laughs> Damn and, right they can. And Make fan fiction sexy. reading. Damn Make right they can. Sexy. Oh, <laughs> uh, what about you, Bobby? Um, I learned that a lot of wrestlers watch at midnight. Yes. <laughs> and I learned that Harley Race was annoyed by a nearby Harley Race <laughs> outside of his house. <laughs> no, no. Were they Bobby, another hot wild? That was from Cape Bay <laughs> News. <laughs> Oh, we can talk about Cape News. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That's great. Bojo. Good job, Bobby. I'm proud of you. Bobby, no Bojo. (laughs) Speaking of of no Bojo, LB, he's probably looking at your email. Yes. Oh, no. There it is. Oh, no. Oh, what is that? Don't, why did you why did you include me on this? Right, He's gonna cut me off. So I want to say, follow me. Uh, you find me at thoughtfulriot.com. Uh, there's a haiku every day of the week except for Friday. That's false Pittsburgh facts. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you're going to have to do a much better job than that if you want me to trust you, Punk said, with an erotically deviant smirk beginning to form on his handsome, rugged face. I respect that you're a vegan and all, but if you want to earn some trust, you're going to have to get a taste of my meat. Ladies and gentlemen, mayhem out! Oh my god! Just wait. Just wait.